We'll check back in here in a minute. But Abomination is doing her thing. And it looks like she's just attaching that guy and starting to wrap him up. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's too cool. Wraps him up a little bit. Attaches a line. And goes back down there for more. I thought she was going to go for that one. But she's working on that one. We'll check back in here in a little bit, guys. While we're waiting on her to do her thing, which has been pretty cool to watch, uh, we'll show you around and show you what I did at Chips and Dips Tank and all that good stuff. So, Leopard Gecko's got a new mat and put a hammock in there for him, all kinds of good stuff. Sorry, I'm just amazed of watching her. Too cool. Let's turn you back around. Let's check it out. And remind you, that's a fresh cricket. I just put that cricket in there. It got caught. And she is doing her thing. But she's made this her home. I mean, she's comfortable with a bug and a rug. She has got her nest. She's her dungeon's back in the back here. I mean, it's big open area back there. But she is. She's got webs going from the top. She's got drop lines coming down. Her main nest. I mean, she is just rocking it. But today was feeding day, anyways. You know, Hodor. He's got his crickets and stuff and my sweetheart over here she's got crickets in there everybody's got crickets the flash has got crickets but yeah this has been a lot of fun to watch and like i said here's chips and <laughs> well excuse me walker Walker got a new hammock and he loves it. He just got done eating a bunch of crickets. So, he likes jumping from there down to here and it makes a hell of a noise. But, chips and dip, it's the same setup, but I got the green mat down there now, which is, you know, softer on their feet and put the hammock in here, which I had a ghetto rig, you know. Zip ties, because it wouldn't reach, or not zip ties, uh, twist ties, which will work just fine. This is Walker's old hammock. Yep, so we're just chilling. We had a bath today. But yep, got them all hooked up and everybody else is the same. Everybody else is happy. Hoggle's eating once a week again. So, yep. Today's video is gonna stick with Abomination. Trying to figure out what she's doing because she's definitely bringing it up. We went from down here to up here now. I tell me that's not cool. Watching her wrap up her prey. But I guess that did make sense of her uh, come, keep climbing to the top to add more lines. Maybe she's going up to this cricket. We shall see. Can't beat it. I mean, I was just thinking, hmm, who, who am I going to record a video on today? And it's abomination. She is just rocking it. So... Oh, thought she dropped her prey, but no. She's just working and she's finally comfortable. She comes out and hangs out and says hi. Goblin King. 
right there. Been eating crickets, having a good time too. And today's just an all feeding day. You know, on days off that I don't feed everybody, he's still got to eat. So just remember, guys, you go by that guy right there from PetSmart. He ain't but that big. He's a little bitty turd. But he turns in to that big turd. So just be careful. You gotta have the right size tank or somebody can take care of it for you once it gets bigger. So, yep. I'll, I'm, just, I'm amazed. I'm gonna have to turn you around and let you look at what I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the chair watching. I don't know what she's doing. She keeps wrapping it up, but I don't know where she's going with it. We got our sign on there, danger, poison, do not open, because I don't want people opening it and getting hurt. Because not everybody's as crazy as I am, and this thinks a black widow is the coolest pet to have on the planet. Yeah. Oh, where are you going? Still got to name this girl. We will. Just spray to everybody. I always spray them down before I feed them. Kind of gets them riled up. Too cool. All right. Goblin King. I'm telling you guys, he gets big. But what I like to do is he eats live crickets. I know it sounds cruel, but I grab these things by the head to kind of just take them out. And then we just drop it in. Because he's slow. He's special. You know, sometimes they swim away and they cr they climb out of the tank. But Josh's frogs, man, it's never ceases to amaze me. They have the best crickets in the whole entire world. Oh, you missed. He'll look for it for, like I said, he's special, guys. And that's the one I'll hear later. Snap, because he'll finally find it. He'll be sitting here at this desk table, and all of a sudden, oh, there he goes. He'll find it. Did you get it, cutie pie? He's running. Boy, I love you. But yeah, guys, you get these guys at PetSmart, they ain't but the size of your thumb. This guy's the size of both my hands. All right, guys, check it out. See him back there? Get some extra light here. We've got egg sacs, so we're gonna have to remove those, but she's not gonna make it easy. She took that cricket back there, by the way. So, wish me luck. Gotta move down here. I've got the light taped to the side now so I can see what I'm doing while I'm in there but got to get the egg sacs out so we just got to be careful watch what we're doing and yeah wish me luck guys we're going to end up putting them in here suffocate them pretty much because we don't need more babies so here we go again all right, well, that went a lot easier than I thought it would, so we'll just move our little container there. We've got one, two, and three. And all we're going to do, guys, is just seal it up tight and leave them in there. Didn't do too much damage to the tank. That cricket came out, but she mainly just ran to the bottom. As I lifted this piece of wood out, 
So it really didn't do too much damage. Yeah, we lost some drop lines from the top, but she'll fix all those. Still got some on there. So, but yeah, she's back here now. She's upset, but she'll be all right. Because I only want the one Black Widow. I don't want 500. So, but I'm the only one allowed to get in this tank. No one else is. All right, got to put back where it goes. We're just going to leave her be and let her chill, and we'll check on her in a bit. Nice. All right, everybody, we're on day two, the morning of the next day. She's not a happy camper, you know. I wouldn't be either. If someone came in there and took all my eggs away. But she's doing good. She took all of her prey back there to the back. So, but we got the egg sacs removed. Got three of them. So, but I don't recommend this to anybody at home because it is danger. It is dangerous, you know. But she did good when I was in there. She just kind of crawled down here to the bottom, let me do my thing, and then now she's upset and won't show herself. So, oh well. At least she's happy and healthy. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up right there. Everybody's full, fat, and happy. Well, she was crawling around a minute ago, but day in the life of owning a black widow. But anyways, guys, I enjoy everybody coming on this journey with me. And like I always say, until next time.